This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. A majority of smartphone owners admit they are unable to go longer than an hour without checking their phone. In fact, according to a recent U.S. Cellular survey, more than 91% of respondents rarely or never leave their phone at home. This data proves that smartphone users have their devices with them at all times and in all environments, including in extreme summer heat and while poolside, by the lake, or at the edge of an ocean's edge. So we all know that accidents can happen. You drop it in the water or it may be too hot to operate. Well, Megan Weber from U.S. Cellular is here this morning to tell us how to summarize and accessorize our smartphones to protect them. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for having, or coming on actually. <laughs> um, thanks for having me. How about that? Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> All right, so uh, U.S. Cellular has broken down these tips into three major tips, and we're going to go through each one. Absolutely. Correct? Yes. So the first one is to prevent overheating. So obviously, you know, sometimes the Heartland, we do have our little spouts of, of hot weather. Weather. Just a little. Yeah, but yeah. if we go somewhere else and it might be even hotter, that mm -hmm. can pose a danger to your phone. Absolutely. So a big thing um, that we tell consumers is don't leave your cell phone in the car. So mm -hmm. we know that our phones are mini electronics, mm -hmm. right? So if you wouldn't take your MacBook or your laptop and leave it in a 250 degree car, mm -hmm. we shouldn't allow our cell phones mm -hmm. to expose that same kind of heat. Mm -hmm. So um, what you wanna do is obviously try to keep it out of the sun, place mm -hmm. it in a shady spot. Um, if your phone, and a lot of phones nowadays are gonna give you a message saying, I'm too hot. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, you wanna bring it into a climate controlled area. Mm -hmm. um, um, I would not suggest, and we've seen this happen, putting it in your freezer or mm -hmm. putting it in your fridge. Like that um, it even more. Correct, yes. So, And especially in the Heartland, we have so much humidity. Mm -hmm. So if you bring that inside and immediately place it into something ice cold, mm -hmm. um, you're going to have condensation, and that could have an even more damaging effect on a phone. Mm -hmm. All right. Good tip to know. All right. The second one is to avoid or survive uh, water, because there's yes. been times where by the swimming pool, we accidentally jump into the pool or get pushed in the pool for some uh, with our <laughs> cell phone or you might drop it while taking a picture so Absolutely. how how do we how do we manage <laughs> So, um, but water damage is one of the most common things mm -hmm. that we see in the summer. So, um, one of the simplest things that you can do is actually just grab a, uh, a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be around something with sand, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just put your phone in a plastic bag. Now we know that that's really not going to be waterproof. It's mm -hmm. more to keep the sand and grit off of your phone. Um, and even in the best prepared circumstances, sometimes your phone ends up <laughs> in the water. Oh, that was a big splash, right? So your phone's in the water. Uh -huh. what do you do so the first thing you want to do is remove the battery okay. right so uh, if you if you push on the buttons the physical buttons on your phone you are really going to be pushing that water further into the phone mm. um, also there's a there's a tempting idea that says oh my gosh let's turn it on mm -hmm. I need to know if it's still working right okay so this uh, electricity water don't mix mm -hmm. and so if you turn that on you could actually short circuit some of the hardware or the boards inside the phone so after you remove that battery from the phone mm -hmm. you're going to want to wipe the phone off okay. with a with a towel here so you can mm -hmm. see I brought my beach bag got my <laughs> beach towel for us today um, and then you can even just take a fan and dry it so obviously this is um, a ridiculously small fan right um, but if you you know some of us carry these with us whenever we go out mm -hmm. if you have a fan in your in your car mm -hmm. again we want to just circulate outside air um, or a fan at home and you're gonna want to let that dry the tempting thing is to apply heat to don't a wet it. phone. Don't do it. So I've seen mm -hmm. phones come in on baking sheets where we tried to bake them in the oven. No. Believe it or not, it's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, hair dryer, same idea. So it's it's hot and we're gonna vaporize that water and it's gonna go, you know, maybe it was just in this portion of the phone. Mm -hmm. it's gonna now that we've applied heat, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that corrosion, the same reason the Statue of Liberty is green, that corrosion can spread through a phone and just do untold amounts of damage. Wow. 
Hmm. Yeah. Good to know. And finally, we need to have the right accessories. We do. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, and believe it or not, um, if you would have told me 10 years ago uh, when I started working for USA Lula that we would have the things we have today, uh -huh. I wouldn't have believed you. So um, there are a whole bunch of accessories mm -hmm. that can help. So something that I personally carry on my phone um, is one of these life proof cases right mm -hmm. here. So life proof is submersible um, for two meters, about six feet for up to an hour. Hour. Okay. okay, so the case does not guarantee the foam whenever it's inside of it, but it guarantees the case. I can tell you I've really put a lot of wear and tear on mine um, and they've survived. So it's also going to be dust, scratches, uh, snow and ice, drops. Mm -hmm. It's going to protect you from all of that. We don't have to worry so much about the snow and ice right now, but mm -hmm. every other one of those right. is a concern. Mm -hmm. um, I've made calls from the bottom of my pool with my phone <laughs> in a life proof and it's still it's still kicking, right? Um, so the other thing is music. So mm -hmm. everybody a lot of likes us, to listen to music. I know exactly. I do. Yeah, and if it's not music, maybe it's a ball game. Uh -huh. So maybe you want to listen to the ball game um, when you're out, you know, uh, barbecuing on the back porch, right? Mm -hmm. So it rains, it's going to rain today, we just heard. Um, and so sometimes you want an accessory that can go with you and mm -hmm. we can float down the river. So this is um, an Eco Rocks speaker and here. And you literally just put that in the water once again. I just put <laughs> it in the water and it floats, which uh -huh. is really neat. So we've got our speaker on top here and then that's gonna float for us. We've also got our JBL Flip 3, which is a waterproof speaker. And then this big boy in the back here has a battery pack built into it and a flashlight and you can mount it on an ATV or a golf cart. That's so awesome. like, I mean, from itty bitty to Jumbotron mm -hmm. over there. I just love how you just literally just put that in the water. Like, no big deal. <laughs> it's kind of addictive. You just kind of want to yeah. play with it. Oh, right. uh, and the last thing is just a uh, selfie stick, you know, so we can turn this on and take a selfie together, get all that done <laughs> um, so that your phone isn't, you know, awkwardly right, positioned somewhere. Right. It's fallen off. So um, picking up a, a selfie stick when used at socially appropriate times <laughs> um, is great. All right, perfect. So what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. We'll link up information with U.S. Cellular. And, of course, you have all these products available if anybody has any questions or concerns. Of course. Again, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back.